another bit of an overcast day. Keithy's got the mowers on. We don't know what the weather's going to do. They don't know really, so uh, farmer's going to take a bit of a punt and go and chop some down. So uh, I don't think it looks too bad, but um, yeah. Keithy's got himself set up, greased up, ready to go, fueled up. Charlie's going to go on the topper. She's going to go and tidy up around the headlands. Uh, so you are going to go with her and we will catch you later on. First job of the morning, I had to come and set the gates up to have a look at Calf's foot because he's got a bad foot. something up in here. Mm. All good thing. He's had the good stuff, mate, he's, uh, he's had the stuff that matters. Yeah. What have you got there? What's this other stuff then? In, in um, anti-inflammatory? Yeah, anti-inflammatory. So I've got some out in the boat. Sorry. What was the first one? Antibiotic. So we're back over at the grain stores. Oh, we've got some loose bags to pick up. They've got to come back with us. The uh, recycling people are going to come and pick those up soon. We've got some bags of fertilizer there. We'll probably move those. Uh, we're just going to tidy everything up basically. Get it sort of into some sort of close state for harvest. And then we'll come up uh, about a week before harvest. Get it all blown out. Make sure it's all nice and clean. We've got the bagging bucket with us. That's a really, it's a, we had that bucket made last year or the year before, but it's a really handy bucket. Got to get this bucket out of the way. We're going to scoop all this up. We've got some bags here. We'll, uh, we'll get it bagged. It'll only be three or four bags. It wouldn't even be that. Something you've got to do every, you know, just before every harvest, you've got to go and make sure the uh, grain stores are nice and clean and ready to go. You want to have gloves on because these bags attract the mice and the rats and they pull all over them. So gloves are necessary. come out Peter has gone and ted it he said it's dry so we're gonna go and see if it'll go Ooh. 
I think the guys are going to be following us. What we're going to do is just set up a little bit of a row and then put our hands through it and make sure it's fit enough because this stuff has had a rain on it. Squeeze them together, pull on the rope, that releases the catches, which are, that releases the catches, arms go down, release the rope, and that's it. Right, first two rows, there's a little bit of hedge trying to grow out in the uh, in the first couple of rows, so we're going to round bale the uh, outer edges, and the round baler likes is at a nice big row, 540E Eco, we will set her off, everything seems to be normal, no naughty noises, switch, sounds good. Right, both wings go into float so they can go over the ridges. We've talked about that before. 450 on the RPM, you can go slower. You, you don't have to go so mental. And first time round, just take it steady. This rate will follow you round. So you, uh, where you turn it, the rear wheels turn on the rake as well. So it's surprising how deep into the corners you can get and we're not going to go too far without checking the hay first so let's just stop there a minute just put a hand through it because we don't want everyone coming up here if it's damp or anything like that don't go near the rotors because that will suck you in and spit you out This rotor looks like it could do with adjusting. Now, where the rain's been on it, it's discoloured it. You can see it's a bit more browny colour, look. So, that's what the rain does to it, but you can get it back to hay. We tend to leave it until it stops raining and then ted it again after that. Uh, there is a bit of green in it, it'll still make nice hay. I'm pretty sure that is alright and that is ready to go. The sun's out, there's a nice warm breeze. Uh, so we're gonna go. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna stop the guys from coming. I'm just gonna take one wind off of this. No. Like that. That should clear up a little bit better. And we should be ready to go. First two times around the field are for the round baler. And then everything else will be for the small balers. Young Jordan's going to be on a small baler. That is Colin's son. And I think young Charlie's going to sit on the baler. Then uh, Linda will be on the packer. And we uh, will be glad to get this in. We have got more hay down. Keith he went out and cut some hay yesterday. He took a camera with him. And sod's law, I gave him a camera with no battery. <laughs> so... Yeah, sorry about that, you didn't get any footage. But next time he goes mowing, I'll send him out with a camera that works, shall I? Alright, the whole gang's here now. Linda couldn't find her away. <laughs> so, I've got a few bales to deal with. What will happen, you see, is Linda will make them into big packs and get half the little bales out of the way. But, so, I, the rake will pick up, but I really don't want it one of the little bales and I know you can probably weave in and out of the little bales but it's just better to turn where you can without hitting anything. I know it's a bit of manoeuvring about but Linda will get going in just a second, start mopping up the bales and then we'll be, uh, then we'll be laughing. Then reckon she'd never been here before. <laughs> All right. Never know how much room I got. We should have this all mopped up in uh, two or three hours. So, uh, uh, but it'll be good to get it out of the way with and uh, in the shed. 
we've got a bit of a wind going it's all uh wind picking it up and throwing it everywhere so it's all fun hey what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing huh I didn't see you there. You been riding around with Nan? Yeah. Yeah. So it's the uh, first rescue call of the uh, season. Charlie's got a puncture and we're the only ones that can save her. Rescue one is on the way. Using that. Well, I've got a bit of both. A bit of Ocro to start with, then finish uh, with a bit of tire weld. Uh, you concoction. either use one or the other, not both. I'll just. Oh. I'll put this in. Why do bad things always happen to you? I know. <laughs> they follow you around. Before I let the air out of this tire, you have got everything we need to blow it back up, haven't you? Um, I've got a, I've now, got an airline you? and a blower upper. That's all yeah, I've got. Well, as long as you haven't been fiddling in here, you on that There's one. There's a lot of people with uh, this coloured shorts on at the disco, isn't that? Yeah. The disco, 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 disco. What do you call it now then? The discotheque. What would you do without Rescue One and its mighty airline? Save the day many a time. Where's Valky? I haven't got one of those. You didn't bring a Valky. I know you've got one. I haven't. You have on the end of there, look. Come on, you got to think about these things. Quick, Peter. Why quick? I'm gonna go back down. We can have a phone party there. You better not leave that stuff on my. You see? Can you start it up and roll it round so that's at the top? I think we'll have to dig that out to stop it leaking. puts a knife through the tyre, no amount of tyre weld is going <laughs> to fix this, it's made it go down. I bet you all wish and you all had your own line. It's in no, a bowl cap, it just rolled off the baler, where's it gone? There it is. See my eyes, Charlie? See my eyes? Quite impressive. Yeah. There's a hole in there, you know. Now, can you get that faster than that will go down? Probably not. How much pressure? A lot. Just gotta go. <laughs> Bang! Now I've got to go down that crack. You reverse yeah. it back again, Charlie. So the phone's at the bottom and hopefully you seal that up. Oh, Peter! What's You've it? got 32 ish. Right. You can get a bit more in there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. Pick the valve. Where's the valve cap? What do you yeah. do with it? Do not call me. <laughs> Got it, Charlie. You get going. Go, no. go, go. You're welcome. Keep an eye on it. If it goes flat, just stop. He'll be along in a little while to blow it up again. Don't call me. <laughs> Got it all cleared up. Linda's just picking up the last few scraggly bales. 
she has managed to smash her light on the Arkson this time. So we'll have to have a closer look. Close up, look at that in a minute. Just shake your head. <laughs> okay. little lane with trees everywhere and then at the very end is a ridiculously tight turn <laughs> that you can only just get in. I just got there a little bit like that. Yeah I've got loads of room. I can't see a thing. Oh there's a car coming. Go over here and start turning. Look at that, I've got tons of room, man. Ah, easy. Oh, they didn't make it home, look. Ah, oh. they got close though, they were only two minutes. Hey. Sort it out again. God. What do you mean? How much wind would you like? What does it say? Uh, she's got just, hang on, mate, she's just got a little thing. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. Just hear that. Yeah. Is up when he's done that. Do it. Yeah, you ever seen the outside of Cole's Bay in a tire? Hang on, mate. Just get out of time. Leaking somewhere, I can hear it. Could be there. Is it that? Yeah. Come plug up, Matt, so we can hear if it's going. Pull it, mate. I'll hear it going down, can you? He puts uh, put 20 pounds in it, mate. We'll see what she's got tomorrow. Let's have a little look at what is going on here, Lynn. She's trying to destroy the machine, I'm sure of it. Look, look, not only that, look, cracked there as well. Linda. First I saved you from a fuel cap. Now I've got to buy a new light for you. Right, home time.